So it's me. It's Sunday. So I want to show y'all what I've been doing. I hadn't been on here for a while. I've been busy like this. I did this today. That's my chicken coop. I'm getting it ready for winter. So I took <laughs> some plastic that I had from last winter covering my garden up. Look, the chickens are pecking it. And some duct tape, as you can see up there. <laughs> the chickens are pecking it. Oops. <laughs> so goofy. And anyway, I got the majority of my chicken coop. <laughs> Tony Delgado's going to love this. This is funny stuff. But I'm not done, obviously. When it gets a little colder, I'm going to do this side. And I've got the inside of the other side to do. But I have the rest of it done all the way across the top and down that side between the porch and the chicken coop. That's just done. Anyway. I got the duct tape, I mean the, uh, sorry, the plastic all the way up over the top so it won't rain in there anymore. This, if it uh, ices this winter, um, it won't go in here and everything will be nice and dry. And let's go inside and I'll show you the rest. And look, I even fixed it where if I open, I can open the door all the way and it just still stays sealed. So that's pretty awesome. I know it's hard to see when I'm filming it myself in here. But anyway, I got a Mino chicken in here. Um, Cindy, the one with the red thing on. She's pretty mean. She flogs me a lot. But, anyhow, that's my chickens. That's four of them, anyway. The other one's in the, under the coop there. That's Cindy right there. Look at her. She's got a bad attitude. She wants to peck everything. Anyway, so back to my, so there's my duct tape. <laughs> it's on the inside, and it's attached to my plastic, so it'll hold it, so it won't fluff back and forth. I gotta do some more. But anyway, so uh, I'm pretty happy with this. So on this side, I've got the back of the house, but I'm still going to get plastic on there. That's going to be a job getting that done. But anyway, so I've got their little coop. It's all nice and warm and clean. I've got their heat lamp already hung up. Not even going to need that anytime soon, but when it gets really cold this winter, I uh, can plug it up right there. And let it hang there, and, you know, it can hang down to get a little heat in the coop, but a little heat outside when they're outside. And, uh, I did have that hanging up, but Tony Delgado, thank you, uh, gave me the idea, put it higher, it doesn't get so dirty, put it on a block. Pretty common sense, but I didn't go that far. Anyway, this is what it looks like for the inside. You can see that, so, they're still getting plenty of fresh air, and it's still plenty cool in here for now. It's just getting it ready for colder weather because this is our first cold snap that we've had so far. It's not even cold, but, you know, coming out of summer, it seems cold to us. It's like 59 yesterday. So if I don't get this done now, it won't get done, and there will be. And that's Cindy. That's not Cindy. That's um, Dixie right there. Dixie's got the yellow band. Cindy's got the red band. She's a mean one. Uh, Chicoletta's got purple. Moose hasn't got one at all. Anyway, so that's my, uh, chicken coop. What we done today, the wind has been blowing terrible today. But we did get this done. I love coming out here to my chickens. I love it better than I love anything. I enjoy it. So while we're out here, let me show you the backyard. What a difference a few weeks makes. I've got all my garden up, just about it. Um, I'm tearing this down every day, all this stuff on here, and feeding it to my chickens a little bit at a time, getting rid of that. My sunflowers, my giant sunflowers were here. They're gone. Um, my pool was here. That's gone. Um, all my plants are just about gone. The flowers are still hanging out. All my plants are gone. All my corn and my cantaloupes and watermelons and okra everything i'm getting my beds ready to winterize them i'm not going to grow anything else till next spring so i've been slowly cleaning up my beds i'm going to till all this eventually and cover them up for winter and uh down there my watermelons and things were down here but they're all gone it's all over my my cucumbers we got a lot of cucumbers off that arch this summer and uh, that's all done. We're going to take this down and put it up. Look at my um, elephant ears, though. I planted those back in the 
oh no, one of them's died. Back in the uh, beginning of spring. Look at here. If I can get my hand on there. Gosh, it's, I can't back up enough. But it's huge. So they've grown really nice this summer. The apple trees are bare. The wattle bed is coming down slowly but surely. It is coming down. Look at that. <laughs> Look how it, it's spin out straight. Anyway, my wattle bed is coming down. Uh, that's going to go away because that was just a summer thing. Look, my one stalk of corn, how, this, how that happened, I'll never know. It showed up down here. Wait a minute. What is that? I haven't been down to this part of the yard in a while, but what is this? <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, I got one carrot <laughs> that hung on all this time, and I have one carrot left. That's awesome. Thank you, Wattle Bed. Thank you, Jesus. But anyway, I have one ear of corn on there. Well, that's pretty cool. But my flowers, that was my butterfly garden there. This was where all the, uh, what was this, sweet potatoes and the peppers were there. All gone now. Everything looks so different. It's so bare. But the good thing is stacking all my stuff up over there for winter time. Getting it ready. But the good thing about this is next spring I get all my stuff put up here on the table. Anyway, the good thing about all this is next spring all this is going to be completely different than it was this summer. Oh, I forgot the biggest thing. Let me take y'all over here and show you this. But this whole yard's going to look completely different next spring. Totally different. We're getting a new fence and all this stuff. Let me see if I can get... See these steps here? Absolutely rickety and rotten. But I'm going to go up them anyway. Because that's kind of person I am. <laughs> Let's go up here. Look at this. Look at this. You see this new, beautiful wood? Me and Frank redone this entire deck back here. We tore it all down. All the railings, we tore all this down. And we tore up every board out here, one by one. And we had a gin ginormous pile here of rotted wood. And we laid every piece of this ourselves. That's the top of my chicken coop there. And we laid this entire um, deck by ourselves. Now we got to still get the rails to put on it. And we're going to cover all these posts. We're going to make new sets of steps down through here. It's a work in progress. But we did do that. So that was a big project that we wanted to do last year that we didn't get to. But we got it done this year. So got to uh, water seal this for sure. But yeah, there's the yard. Looks so different. Anyway, I hadn't uh, made a video in a while. So I just wanted to catch y'all up on what we've been doing. We've been so busy, and I'm so sorry I haven't watched anybody's stuff, but I'm going to start back. Hopefully, things are winding down a little bit now. Thanks for watching, y'all. Talk to you.